I am looking for specific cups <laughs> um, from the Dollarama. So I'll take you guys in and see what we see that's new today. Oh, these are fun for the summertime. Not bad at all, like little mason jar with the straw. This one here is $2, shape of a pineapple. You can use it as a pen holder too, super cute. Has a little silicone top. And a peek for those tall glasses I'm looking for specifically. Um, one of my viewers suggested coming into Dollarama because they had a two-pack. Oh, these are new to me. They look like a better quality as well nice and thin. I'm very picky when it comes to my glassware. I don't like thick rims like this one here is a little thicker. I like a really thin rim like this one. And I like a wider martini glass. It's not a bad price at all but it has a bit of a thick rim. So I don't see the two packs here. I will check another dollar store after this. These are fun. Whoa, these are really heavy and wide. And these were out last year, the flamingo mugs. I remember seeing them. You can put like a cute little succulent in here, some soil. Who else loves mugs? I love mugs. Oh, I bought these a couple, well, I guess a few weeks ago now. $1.50. I really like it. It's, they're super pretty and they're very farmhouse. Ooh, this is cute. $1.25, little trinket holder. Oh no, I better flip it back this way, otherwise somebody's going to grab it and it's going to come flying out, and that's glass. It's a beautiful platter, or cake plate, I should say. Ooh, these are new. I don't really love the writing on them, but really, really nice. Oh, this is super heavy. I mean... Yeah, as a water jug or anything, it's just way too heavy. You can make it a vase, put some beautiful flowers in it. This is really in, like the honeycomb texture. I don't know if I really love it yet. It ha I haven't, it hasn't grown on me yet. A lot of mason jar things and lots of glassware. Like if you're looking to, you know, accent some pieces, there's a lot of options here. Like this is a super cute ice cream. Oh, these are plastic, but I think the Dollar Tree has these in glass. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'd seen them at the Dollar Tree before. Oh, this is nice. I mean, you can even DIY something with writing on it and not just use it as a a board, but 
I love looking at these. I just wish they didn't have the detail on the bottom. But I'm thinking I'm going to play and see if I can get my stamps. I should bring a set in with me next time. One of my clear acrylic stamps to see if they fit in here. So they would sit up nice and lined up. I I really like clear containers as if you've seen a dollar uh, a tour of my craft room I share how I use a lot of clear storage to display my craft supplies I'll link the card up above if you guys want to see Ooh, these are cute and there's like a package of them four of them for three dollars that's a pretty good buy because Dollar Tree would be obviously a dollar twenty five a piece so if you're okay with these prints that's a pretty good value I currently have one of these in my craft room. It's in teal, but I love the detail and the print on it. It's very nice. Oh, I actually need some toilet cleaner, so I'm just going to look here at the prices and compare. So there's the Clorox. Um, I saw these are $250. Oh, the smaller bottle of Lysol is two fifty as well. I think I'm gonna grab a Clorox. Clorox. You know what? I'm not sure if I saw these at the grocery store. The Dirt Lift, it's like a new Purex brand, and I believe they were selling for $7.99. I'm gonna have to check into that for you guys. If you've seen some of my cleaning videos, I often share how I clean my wood floors with the Murphy oil. That's not a bad price at all, $2.50. I do buy a larger bottle at Walmart. Lysol's not bad either here. Um, sometimes if things are on sale at Walmart, you'll get a better price, but these prices are actually beating Walmart at their current value. And this here as well for a dollar is a better value than the ones we find at Dollar Tree. I do love buying my SOS pads and I often buy them here because they're a little more expensive at the at Walmart or grocery stores um, but they do go on sale for 99 cents here and there just have to be careful for sales I'm not a wipe user so I never really have to look at that stuff oh this is new to me I have never seen the Javex brand of toilet bowl brushes has anyone bought them or tried them do you like them I do buy toilet bowl brushes here quite often so I'd be curious to know how the quality is of that these mops look pretty good too I currently use the spinning mop of uh, made by Valida so I take a look and see if they sometimes have that product here but I've never been lucky to find any mop related stuff they do have sponges sometimes Ooh, mr. clean
Oh, look at this, a Valida. So it's just this power pad. But I love that they have Valida brand because now I'll just keep an eye out for the mops. They have to eventually come out, right, for the spin mop. The little refill packages. I can't imagine they wouldn't jump on that. Mr. Clean is here. There's just a ton of brand name Javax. This is new too. I don't know. I have to keep my eyes peeled. If anyone sees the ring mop refills for the Valida mop, please let me know. Now this is a fantastic find. I mean, you'd pay a lot more at Marshall's for that. Just go down the kitchenware things and see if there's any fun finds. Look at this knife, super fun. Oh, the little cupcake liners. I've used these for making embellishments on the channel. So much fun to work with. I always like getting, if there's like a new print that inspires me, I'll, I'll grab them. And there's 75 in here for I think $1.25, is it? They're fantastic. This is a good brand name too. So many new things. Here's another big company, Wilson. I'm not sure exactly what this mold does, but measure and shape. Hmm. Wow, this acrylic organizer is beautiful. For $4, I wonder if I could put my crafts, like my tools in it, even my heating tool. Oh, I should grab one. I don't know. I have things in my Alex drawer. These are pretty practical tablecloths. They already have an opening for an umbrella and they look like they're nice and thick. So for $4, you have quite the selection here. Oh, well, look at this. Charboil, which is another company as well. Big brand.
this is new. Two dollars for the aquarium scrubber. I'm constantly using it. To, I'm using a sponge usually just to wash down my aquarium, but this is hand. It would be handy with a little bra, uh, handle. Some cute little kits for aquarium sets. This doesn't go with my decor, but they're cute and fun if you have kids who are into little fish as well. These ones here are new. I hadn't seen them before. $3 for... They're kind of like a square tin. They're nice and deep though. I like the white ones too. They're really pretty. Oh, here's some great finds. Glad products. For $3. Well, this one's interesting. For $3 you get a flashlight. Oh, I love this. Four dollars. I wish that it was a little bit darker blue, but that is gorgeous. Not so much pulling on the purples, but more the navies. These are new tins as well. I wonder how much they are. I couldn't imagine them being a dollar.
Here's an example of something that costs the same amount, but are two completely different sizes. So the, they're both $4 and look how small this one is compared to that giant one. So sometimes when you're looking at things, be aware of pricing. It's a cute little wine stopper or bottle, bottle stopper. Has anyone tried these markers? I'm curious to know if they work well. Just look at the paints here. Sometimes I like to look at the arts and crafts supplies, always adding something to my collection or canvas board. See if there's any of the wood ones. Aha, they are here. These are gorgeous canvas boards. I like that they are wood all around. They didn't have these here in stock last time I was in. So I bought one over a month ago, but hadn't seen any and they're four dollars which is great if you're doing canvas work i like this print super cute little house dollar fifty i like the way they've done the front very modern kind of cottage feel to it
Now this is something that you can store away as a Halloween costume for a little person because for four dollars I don't think you can go wrong with a Halloween costume and it looks like it's a brand name which Superman I think it is Wow another awesome find here are the teeny or the beanie the beanie boos made by I, I the TY company I forget what they're called and three dollars for these little guys which you hang on your backpack I love them. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'd easily pay, I think, around $5 for these in most places. Look at these ones. These are massive. And they're the four, like they're $4. I would easily pay $20 for these guys everywhere else. Michael sells them for $20. Oh my goodness, look at the cute lamb. This is a great find. This is when I wish I wasn't on a ban from buying notebooks because I'm a mermaid tail freak and this is gorgeous. What a beautiful coiled book. But I have so many notebooks at home, I cannot buy these. I'm not allowed. I love paper mate flares. I like playing with them in my planner. That's a pretty good price for a medium sized pack. They have quite the variety of brand names here. So if you wanna play around with them, definitely peek at your Dollarama. Look, these are Mr. Sketch, but they're like the neon ones. Yeah, they just have such great finds here for a pretty decent price. Like Walmart will charge you a lot more in our area for stuff like this. Okay, I have to buy these. For $2, I have all these beautiful die cuts. These are fun too. 
Oh my goodness, a dollar for these ones. Do I need them? My daughter loves LOL characters. She's got the little, like little dolls. Let's take a look here and see if there's any other things. Right now it's like Shopkins that are kind of appearing everywhere. <gasps> here, LOL. This is just a little tote bag. I don't know. Oh, there's some interesting finds here. You can save yourself some money. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm looking for little dental picks. And I've purchased these. Ah, oh, gum. Okay, I'm on the hunt for the Live Clean. What is it called? Sun lotion? Oh, this is not very heavy at all. What is it? Uh, sunscreen. I'm looking for a Live Clean sunscreen. Oh, Method. These are all very good brand names at the grocery store haha -ha. live clean so there is so much at this store this is the sport and this is the baby these run for $16.97 at Walmart and this big bottle oh my gosh there's so many things here um the big bottle of live clean it was $11.97 at Walmart Lots of Johnson & Johnson products. Oh my goodness. This, like, honestly, if you're looking for a good product and save some money, I definitely recommend popping into Dollarama right now. Oh, here, Dove. Clinical Strength. These are, like, $9. They're $4 here. Some more Live Clean shampoos, conditioners. Awesome, awesome finds here today. This is also another really expensive product. It's just a very small bottle, unfortunately. Ah, I've been here for over an hour. I think I'm going to go over to the checkout, and then I hope to share my haul with you guys very soon. Until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoyed walking through Dollarama with me today. Bye for now.